Hi everybody, and thanks for joining me today. So doing some more work on the garden wall today. It's kind of slanting the other way that I normally stitch, just following the flow of the colors as usual. And yeah, 21% turned out to be a bit too much, <laughs> more than I could handle, so. 20.5% is definitely going to happen, I would say. Yeah. We're only three hundredths of a percent off of that, so that will happen. Yeah, if I had maybe one or two more sessions, I could have made 21%, but that's just more than I can manage, so oh well. Still happy with the progress made this month. I was hoping to make it to a quarter done next month, but again, that might be a bit much. We will see. However, I don't have any family visiting next month and uh, no apples to deal with, so we shall see. Yeah, that kind of threw things off this, this month. Yeah, unfortunately, is another very smoky day. It actually smelled like a campfire when I went outside. Ooh, so, yeah, ick. Comes and goes. Day before was actually quite nice. Blue sky, but now it's all, all the smoke has rolled back in, so yeah. Unfortunately, not much can be done about it, but wait for it to clear up. I really hope that, uh, pardon me, I really hope next summer is not this bad. This has been, like they said, the worst one on record for like 40 years, so yeah, it's not been good. I will have my car fixed like tomorrow, so <laughs> yeah, that's good. At least this ensures I have to get my steps in <laughs> if I really need something. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So yeah, we've had some bigger blocks of color here, so progress went a little quicker, but yeah, not quite fast enough to make the 21% like I was hoping. Okay, we're just going to take a peek. I'm going to have a couple threads running around here, I should think. Because this one is kind of scattered around a bit, so yeah, it'll work out that way. But yeah, it's uh, going to be time to settle in for hibernation soon, at least here. Yeah, the leaves have all turned. Yeah, I can see one of our neighbors across the street has a tree in front. It's actually kind of funny. They, um, one of the branches kind of broke and sort of died. You could see the leaves were a different color in the summer, but then that one seems to hang on to its leaves like through the winter way harder. So I don't know, it's weird. You would think if they were dead, they would fall off quicker, right? But yeah, who knows? <laughs> I'm no expert, so yeah. Ooh, I, yeah, I had to get up early this morning for an appointment, so I apologize in advance if I yawn. <laughs> that is why. Oops, sorry guys, bonking the camera. My gosh. Ugh. I actually did get a decent distance for my hands to be with, so I, I shouldn't be smacking into it, but you know. I am not the most coordinated person, that is for sure. <laughs> oh, like I often joke, you know, I've been living in this house for 17 years. You would think I would know by now where all the corners and walls are, but no, nope, I still run into them regularly. <laughs> oh. Yeah, 
I've always got bruises that I don't remember where they came from because I walk into things so often it doesn't really <laughs> leave much of a impact on my brain. It does on my skin, but yeah, not in my mind because that's just like a normal occurrence, so. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah, so some lighter colors here. Hopefully you can see them well enough. Okay, just going to kind of skip around along this little area here that's kind of sloped my normal way and slowly work my way out. So yeah, the sky is like all done because the next pass will be C. So there will be some more bigger blocks of blue in the next pass, but they won't be sky anymore. They'll be ocean. I'm assuming that's the ocean and not a lake. That's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm thinking next month, I probably won't make it all the way to the far right edge of this pass, but I should by the end of November, I would think. We will see. It all depends. Ooh, and then that will be, pardon me, two passes down and I think seven more to go. rest of these passes will all be 60 rows high instead of 70. I didn't want my last pass to be like 20 rows because that's just annoying. So I add them to the top. Easier than adding them to the bottom because yeah, when I get a whole bunch rolled up at the top, it kind of inhibits how far I can move my hand to, to stitch everything. So yeah, if there's extra rows, I prefer to put them in the first couple of passes rather than the last ones. So yeah, I think it should be another three or four months before we get to the peacock again. <laughs> and that'll be a big section of color. His chest and neck is not very many colors. And then we'll get a bit of tail feathers in that first pass, in that next pass, yeah. That's the part I'm really looking forward to. The most eye-catching part, in my opinion, of the whole pattern. Ooh. Oh dear. <clears throat> yeah, it's hard to believe it's going to be Canadian Thanksgiving soon like less than two weeks or something yeah our thanksgiving comes sooner than in the u.s yeah and theirs is in november later of no later part of november i believe and ours is early october so it's like first or second sunday of october yeah so yeah i'll have to see if i can find the right um cranberry sauce the last couple of years I couldn't find the jellied cranberry sauce all they had was the ones that had actual like pieces of cranberry in them so but then you can't like cut it into you know nice neat little little slices so my, my husband didn't mind yeah it was funny because somebody said you know settle an argument for me she said her husband took out you know the the uh cranberry sauce from the can and he put it in a dish and like stirred it and broke it up and she said like that's just wrong right and everybody oh my gosh why would he do that you know what is he an animal because <laughs> yeah it's like no but it has even the handy little cutting rings on the side <laughs> yeah well it's funny I'm not really a big cranberry sauce fan like I like the taste of it but I don't know it's not really for me, so 
Yeah, I get it because my uh, husband and son like it. And they like stuffing too, and I'm not a stuffing fan. I said it's so funny, my son. He won't eat cooked vegetables because he says they're too mushy, but he likes stuffing. I'm like, but it's mushy bread. Like, but he likes it, so go figure. Yeah. Guess we all have our quirks, right? I don't t cook turkey though. I make stuffed chicken breast. Yeah. Well, for three people, turkey is just too big. And none of us are huge turkey fans. So, yeah. I remember when I was a kid, um, my mom was actually able to get the butcher to cut the turkey in half. So she would, we would have just half a turkey to roast instead of the whole thing. And that worked great. There were four of us because it was me and my sister and then my parents. So it worked out great. We weren't eating turkey forever, but uh, then they stopped doing it. They, w they refused to do it for some reason. I don't know why. And you kind of need their proper meat cutter because it's frozen and yeah, to cut a frozen turkey, you need a proper like industrial machine. So yeah, unfortunately. I can't even remember the reasoning they gave. I don't know, something about it contaminated it or I don't know, but yeah. Plus, turkey takes so long to cook, right? All day. I make stuffed chicken breast takes like 30 minutes of cooking time. So there's that too. Yeah. I don't want to get up early to be putting a turkey in the oven. I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> yeah, I'll happily eat it when someone else cooks it, but yeah. Yeah, and I'm not a big yam fan either. <laughs> My sister-in-law, she calls it the yuck, not instead of the yam. Yeah, again, my, my husband and son, they like it, but it's too sweet for me. Yeah, I much prefer mashed potatoes. Like, I don't mind sweets, but yeah, generally like them as dessert. What is? <laughs> I'd rather have savory for dinner. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to carry this one down here. Yeah, I'm going to kind of meander with this thread just to avoid closing things in. I'm definitely going to have more than one thread of this yellow because it's there is a lot of it all over the place. So I've got a few needles on threads here, but... See if I can keep them from getting tangled. Yeah, like I said, try to avoid doing pale colors on camera, but in this in this piece, especially near the top, there's just so much pale color that it's really unavoidable. Thank you. 
Okay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna split this off into more than one thread. I can see that already. Okay, so we're at, yeah. 62.859, so yeah, I say this month we'll get to about 63,000 total completed. Yeah, so 25% might be a bit much too, because that's around 80,000 stitches, I believe, total. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see. I get about 10 to 12,000 done per month on this project, sort of depending on, of course, yeah, how much confetti there is and course how much time I have to work on it so let's not have knots in it right, so I'm gonna do one thread here and I'm gonna start another thread at the other side So I don't know if I'll hit 63,000 during this session. We'll kind of see how it goes. do a bit more down here, I think. something was coming up so mm. yeah so it is smoky although not as bad as it was a couple days ago so I think I will still walk outside because I want to walk down to the grocery and pick up a couple things for dinner <clears throat> yeah my husband's still away he'll be back soon but he doesn't like salmon and my son and I like it so whenever he's away I, I cook it for us and I didn't think to buy any when I did my regular grocery run and I don't have a car so a working car at the moment so I'll just walk it's not too bad it's only about a 10-15 minute walk each way so yeah it's kind of perfect for I might as well get my 
steps in anyway. So instead of just walking around the lake for fun, I'll actually walk to the store and back. <laughs> I won't be carrying too many things, so. Yeah, it's really good. Um, I like to broil it with a little bit of cooking sherry and some seasoning salt. Yeah, it's yum. So good. <clears throat> yeah, I was really surprised because my son can be quite picky. And then he asked if he could have some salmon. I was like, okay, yeah, knock yourself out. And yeah, he actually liked it. So <clears throat> okay. All right, gotta need to grab a new strand. Actually, I will need to get a new skein too. This envelope is almost empty. I got one more strand left, so I always set my envelope aside then at that point so I can remember to grab a new one next time I'm up so I don't have to dis disrupt my uh, stitching rhythm. Yeah, because otherwise I'll forget. And I hate having to get up once I get nicely settled into my my stitching nest. <laughs> yeah, it's like I understand now my parents would say, you know, don't make me come in there because <laughs> that means I got to get up. <laughs> yeah, when you're a kid, that's easy. <laughs> When you're an adult, yeah, it gets a little harder. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have another burst of some warm weather in a couple of days, which will be nice. Wasn't expecting that, but. Not too warm, but just pleasant. <laughs> okay. Did I mix something up here? Let's see. One, two, three, four. No, I don't think so. Let's see if I can count. Well, maybe. Or maybe not. Let's take a look. Oh, shoot. I think everything's off by a bit. Oh, I know what I did. Yes, I see what I did. I did a parked one here, parked one here, and I parked one in the next square when there should have been another space between them. Yeah, it should have been parked right here. Yeah, that's why things were not matching. No problem, now I've got it. That's one nice thing I can cross check with my grid lines. Because if I don't, I will make mistakes. I mean, I will anyway, but <laughs> this means I can fix them more easily when I do. Yeah, did any of you catch me parking that wrong? <laughs> really wants to tie itself into knots. Actually, I'm going to, instead of doing that stitch, I'm going to just park it there for now. Let me take a look at what else I'm doing here. How much I want to kind of travel up and down. Oh, 
Oh, for a second, I thought I sewed another thread in. I hate when I do that. So that can be tied off after I do this one. I apologize. Once again, my water machine is being super duper loud. I guess I don't normally notice it while I'm stitching because I usually have the TV on when I'm not filming. So, yeah, kind of drowns it out a little bit. So when I don't, yeah, it's really noticeable. Yeah, so if you've been watching Star Trek Lower Decks, they had this little character on one episode called a Moopsie, and it kind of looks like a Pokemon. And it's like this adorable little creature, but of course it's totally deadly, right? And uh, yeah, someone was saying uh, they ought to make a little Moopsie plush that says Moopsie when you squeeze it, because in the show it will, it says that a lot. That's all it says, is every now and then it just goes Moopsie. And it was so cute. And they said, yeah, and... And I said, yeah, if they do that, you know, instead of shut up and take my money, it's uh, shut up and take my latinum. Because, <laughs> yeah, I would so buy one of those. They're so cute. Yeah, there's already people crocheting their own little moopsies and stuff. Yeah, and it was funny because I'm in a, I'm in a big public Star Trek meme group, and <clears throat> people will make memes, of course, of the stuff that just happened. And so, yes, yeah, somebody was saying, okay, well, what the, you know, heck is a moopsie? It's like, oh, so yeah, tell us you didn't watch Lower Decks without telling us you didn't watch Lower Decks, because yeah. <laughs> son watches that one with us because it's a cartoon it's pulling teeth to try and get him to watch anything else so yeah well you know for his parents we're not cool right <laughs> oh yeah it was funny i saw you know there was actors talking about how their kids are with them and yeah like hugh jackman saying you know says that his kid would say to his friends you know stop asking about my dad he's not like wolverine he's not cool you know i said oh here's proof that nobody's kids thinks they're cool <laughs> <clears throat> oh, a lot of pin stitches in this area. I guess with these leaves here, there's a bit more confetti. Yeah, these vines along the edge. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. See, we're at 20 and a half percent. Well, less than 100 stitches to reach 63,000 in total. So let's let's make that our minimum for today, huh? Sounds good. Yeah, because I'm thinking there's quite a bit of the yellow here. Not as many colors, so I think another 100 stitches should not be at all difficult.
kind of fun because the Star Trek meme group I was talking about, some some of the uh, cast are even members of the group. So yeah, they don't uh, they don't interact a lot, but every now and then they show up, which is like wow. <laughs> yeah, there was somebody who left the group saying everybody was seriously gross and morally bankrupt. So um, <clears throat> pardon me when somebody met uh, John Delancey at a con who played Q on uh, Next Generation. They uh, they got him to say, so he said, yeah, this group is seriously gross and morally bankrupt, and then I love it, which is like a total Q thing to say. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it's quite funny because anytime somebody does a flounce out of that group, it totally becomes a viral meme, and yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> Although it's a, I mean, it's a silly meme group, but the, some of the discussions we have in there are pretty good, gotta say. Yeah. Although they banned a lot of talking about Janeway and Tubix because people get really too upset about that episode. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> So sometimes with these skinny kind of snakes of color I cross as I go, sometimes I don't. It just depends on where I want the thread to end up when I'm done. So. I remember this one was really short, which is why I carried the other thread back up because I knew I was going to need another thread up here. Yellow.
Okay, let's put another thread on the other side of this color. Oh, hang on a minute. I have one down here. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do, actually, let's see how long this piece is. I think it's a longer one. Yeah. So I'm going to carry this down and then stitch back upwards. See where it runs out. There, that's better. It came up wrapped around the threads that were already in that spot instead of next to them neatly. Put it in markup mode. Can't work that way. A lot of people getting ready for winter. 
my walks, I've seen a few houses, they're getting their roofs done for the snow. People doing last minute yard work, they were having uh, stumps removed and stuff, yeah. Otherwise, it's got to wait until, until the spring. Yeah, it'll be time to, my husband to take the air compressor and blow all the water out of the, uh, the backyard pipes <laughs> so they don't freeze. Pardon me, my gosh. I did warn you I was going to yawn. <laughs> oh my. This one was a short piece. Yeah, I did that on purpose. Yeah, because I need to add a bigger one for the next area for this color. Another half a percent would be over 1,500 stitches, which I think is just, yeah, more than I can manage by the end of the month, so. Yeah, no problem. Sometimes I make my estimate and sometimes I don't. Thread that for a little bit. Yeah, because I'm kind of going to fill in more of this here before I start working down here a bit. It's kind of a natural break point because the, um, there's sort of a vertical bit there for the pillar. Yeah. The way this wall is shaped, the column, so it kind of makes sense to just do my break along there. You can probably see the other colors there are running kind of vertically and that's why. So yeah, it's a kind of a natural place as a stopping point until I fill in what's above it and then I'll carry on from there.
hard to believe a month is just about done. It'll be time to do my monthly progress video for y'all soon. It's always fun getting to take everything off the frames and show off how much has been completed that month. That month, blah, can't talk. <laughs> okay. needle down there. It's not crossing, the thread is not crossing my working area and getting in my way. started this thread from the left side instead of the right because I could see the way it was gonna hug along this edge this way I don't have to add two strands for now. Almost at that 63,000 complete. Let's see if we catch it or if we go over. <laughs> A lot of times I make that my goal and then I stitch right past it without noticing because I got so into the rhythm of my stitching that, yeah, I wasn't paying attention to the number. Look at that, 62,999. <laughs> yeah, okay. So let me take a look at what's parked down here. Yeah, I was pretty sure that wasn't too long. Once again, I was planning ahead.
yeah, we're now at 63,000 even. Completed, nice. Yeah, we'd be closer to 65, I think, to get to 21%, so that's just not going to happen. Yeah, I'm going to work out from this corner for a little bit longer, and then I think that'll be it for the day. Unthreaded by accident. I hate when I do that. This one's going to be a bit of a challenge to get that very last stitch of a bit. It's kind of right at the limit that I can still manage to do a stitch and tie this off. Oh yeah, that's right, I did not leave this one threaded because I knew I wasn't going to get back to it for a while. A lot of pin stitches in this area, which means a lot of ends to come popping up from the back.
Oh, did I sew through? Oh, I see. This one ended up going between the, <laughs> the two strands of that other thread. Okay, I was a little worried sometimes. I accidentally sew right through a thread with another one. <laughs> and that could be not so fun to try to unsnarl, but these seem good. Add another couple of colors here. Let's see how much I've got in this area. Ah, some, but not enough that I'm going to bother putting this in my working tray yet. took out a whole strand and forgot to actually separate it. <laughs> Not going to stitch with all six at once. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I saw one time a post where somebody thought that one strand was like when you cut it right off the skein and they're like, how do you stitch with two? And it's like, well, no, that's not two strands. That's 12. <laughs> when you first cut it off the hank, it's uh, that's not one strand. It's six gotta divide them up could you imagine trying to stitch with two lengths straight off the thing yeah that'd never fit <laughs> Be like trying to pull a rope through mm. yeah some people like to stitch with a lot more strands than i do but, uh, yeah to each their own i don't mind if there's a little bit of the fabric showing through at the end if you get up really close yeah that doesn't bother me. For some people, they like to use an extra strand and really cover it up. It's totally up to you. Because, yeah, I know a lot of people like to use three strands on the 14 count that I'm doing. But, well, I don't like to use an odd number of strands because it does make loop starts more difficult. And, yeah, I find that for my personal preference, two is sufficient the coverage. One of the difficulties when you use smaller threads is they tend to, or shorter threads, is they tend to get uh, unthreaded by accident more easily. Double check there's no, okay, knots on the back. 
before I stitch over it, because yeah, if there's a knot, you want to catch it before it gets stitched into with other threads, or it's a real nightmare. felt wrong. Yeah. yeah, I think I'll do these stitches that I've highlighted and then that is where I'm going to take a break for today. for not being as talkative today. I'm afraid it was just too smoky and my throat is quite irritated. So yeah. we had a bit of a quieter session today, but I hope that you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And uh, yeah, I thank you so much for joining me. And ooh, look at that. We'll finish with a mess up, hey? <laughs> Oh, goodness. Not the most auspicious. Uh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. I had a little too much too far down the needle and or def too far down the thread. And so it was getting stuck. But yeah, just trim it off there. And thank you for joining me today. And I hope to see you here again another time. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye.